Has this ever happened to you? Well, we have something for you. Cue the music. Hey everyone, it's Stephen here from the Flyby Guys. How are you all doing? We've created a checklist for hobbyist and professional drone pilots alike to get the most and the best out of their drone flights every time they use it to make sure that you don't get into trouble or you don't have any accidents. This, this can also minimise any issues along the way. Head over to flybyguys.com and go to the drone safety section of the website. This will take you to the pre-flight checklist, which you're able to download or store on your laptop or iPad or any tablet or phone that you're using. Once you open this, you can see the person in command, if you're using a spotter or any nearest air traffic services. This is mainly focused for the professional side, but it's good for the hobbyist to have a look at this. We use Avia Maps for our flight announcements because we are using shared airspace. Drone conditions, we can focus on propellers. It's always good to check your propellers before you fly, no matter the size of the drone. So we do this with any of our drones, just to check. All Mavic owners must be aware that the gimbal cover has to be removed. It's very easy to forget this. And if you don't, it will cause the gimbal motor to overheat. If you do leave the gimbal cover on, you may have to restart the drone and then do a gimbal calibration. This will help the gimbal to move. I've tried this and afterwards you'll find that the gimbal is unable to move. It will be stuck. So bear this in mind. It's very important. The recent Mavic series has seen the introduction of internal storage, but it's always good to check your memory cards installed if you're gathering lots more data than 8 gigabytes at a time. And Phantom owners, make sure that your memory card is installed when you land. I've had mine pop out once before and almost lost lots of data. Make sure you check your satellites. A minimum of 10 satellites is required if you're going to take off. Anything less than 10 and you're risking a flyaway. So always make sure that you have 10 or more satellites before you take off. This is extremely important. On the list now, you've got other sections for during the flight and then before landing. And it's always good to make sure that you have enough battery before you get back. So always check the weather. Wind conditions can also be very important. This pre-flight checklist has been designed by our team to help you, to help everyone, including your customers. Flight efficiency is vital when gathering data. If you have to return because you have a problem, you end up losing vital information and that can cause problems with your customers. So always good to do a pre-flight checklist. Anyway, that's all from me today. Thanks everyone. Make sure you check out the link below. Make sure you hit the like button. Also subscribe because we have more videos on the way. Fly safe.